Hey guys, what's up? It's Mandy. So today I wanted to share with you a little bit about how I am able to stay motivated and get through the day when I am dealing with really severe depression. Now the stuff that works for me isn't necessarily going to work for everybody, but it might help someone out. So I figured I would share it with you. So even at my absolute worst, when I was completely suicidal, I was still able to manage to get myself up and out of bed and go to work. Sometimes I'm not even really entirely sure how I was able to do that, but basically I just really tried to focus on all the people that were at work counting on me to be there and do my job. One of the big factors of helping me cope and deal with things and get out of bed in the morning is definitely my animals. All my animals definitely kind of help force me to get out of bed and get my day started no matter how bad or down I feel that day. Any of you out there that have cats know exactly how persistent they can be. They are not taking no for an answer in the morning. If they want to be fed, they will be fed. And sometimes that means you're getting up at four o'clock in the morning to start your day. Add to that that I do have a giant dog that needs to be let out in the morning. And yeah, that is usually what gets me kickstarted for the day. I don't know how many mornings I will. I will lay there and I just, I don't want to leave my bed. And it's not because I'm still tired. It's not because I want to go back to sleep. I just don't want to get out of bed. Not because it's cold, not because I'm just super comfortable, but because I just don't want to get out of bed. I don't have the willpower to get out of bed. I don't, I just don't feel like getting out of bed and living my life that day. But thanks to having all of these animals, they kind of help force me to get my day started. Now I'm not suggesting that if you are suffering from depression, you should hurry and run out there and get you some animals. But I know that it definitely helps me a lot. I tend to do so much better because I do have a lot of animals and I have all the animals. Another thing that really helps to motivate me is of course my daughter. I think about what she needs, what she needs from me and who she needs to be her mother because sometimes I just don't have the willpower to get up for myself but I definitely don't want to be a mother that my daughter is ashamed of or embarrassed by or doesn't get up and interact with her and help her out, help her with her homework, help her get ready for school in the morning. I need to be that person. Like I need to be that person. I need to fulfill that role. So for me, sometimes my biggest motivation is other people and other living creatures that depend on me to get up and help them or do things for them that they can't do for themselves. And I have to step up and fulfill that role and fulfill those needs. Sadly, sometimes I'm just not enough. Sometimes you motivating yourself is just not enough. Sometimes you just don't have the willpower to get out of bed. And that's where sometimes these external things that are counting on us help to make that difference and help to motivate. Now again, this is just stuff that works for me and it's not necessarily gonna work for everyone out there. On days that are really, really bad, I have to sit there and ask myself in the morning, like, what kind of day do I wanna have? Do I wanna just stay here in bed all day and get absolutely nothing accomplished for the day and feel even worse tomorrow because I didn't get out of bed yesterday? I don't wanna feel that way and I know I don't wanna feel that way. And again, sometimes it's really, really hard to just get going and get motivated. But knowing that tomorrow Mandy is not gonna to wanna to deal with cleaning up the mess for Today, Mandy, 
kind of helps to get me up and get me moving sometimes. Another thing that really helps me is my phone. So these are pretty much always right next to us at all times. I know I use my phone as my alarm, so it's gonna be right next to the bed. And I'm sure the majority of us out there use our phone as our alarm for the morning. So sometimes if I'm really, really not feeling motivated and I really, really just can't, even my cats can't seem to get me moving, I will sometimes turn to YouTube and look at motivational channels and inspirational channels, people, people who inspire me and make me feel better. A lot of those like spiritual guru type channels, I really, really, love when I am in this state because sometimes even though a lot of times those people do go over the top and it kind of comes off a little cheesy sometimes I really need that when I'm in that place and I'm in that darkness and I can't seem to pull myself out of it and get myself going so that even if I am just going through the motions that day, I'm getting things accomplished and I'm not letting anybody down, including myself. Because with depression, we can end up in this sort of downward spiral, right? We can end up making ourselves just constantly feel even worse because we feel so bad that we're not getting anything done, we're not doing anything, we're not bettering ourselves, we're not doing anything to move forward. So then we end up feeling even worse day after day. It just gets worse and worse and worse because we're getting further and further behind on things and letting people down and just becoming disappointed in ourselves and other people becoming disappointed in us too. I am subscribed to multiple little spiritual channels. I can even put links to some of the people that I follow in the description below. If they help me, maybe they'll help you. Maybe they'll help you feel better. Maybe they'll help to inspire you as well. So besides those things too, I also keep a journal next to my bed always. If I am feeling really, really down about myself that morning and I just can't seem to drag myself out of bed, then sometimes I will reach for that journal and I will go ahead and write five things that I am proud of myself for or that I like myself for or appreciate about myself. I did make a video on this. I typically journal at night, but sometimes in the morning I really need to pick me up and it also helps that I can thumb through some of the positive things that I have written in the past to help kind of get me off to a better start and in a better mindset to start my day. So I don't know you guys, I know these things aren't gonna necessarily help everyone, but they do help me to try to stay on track and stay motivated and drag myself out of bed every morning, even if it's a really terrible, terrible morning where I just like don't wanna participate in life. I know I have to, I know I need to. It's not good for me if I don't participate in life. So that's all I really have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.